everyone, welcome to this in-depth discussion on the recent advancements in cryogenic systems, specifically focusing on a groundbreaking development at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Plasma Science and Fusion Center. Today, we will be delving into a fascinating research project titled, A20K, 600W Cryocooler-Based Supercritical Helium Circulation System for the Spark Toroidal Field Model Coil Program. This research is a collaborative effort between MIT and Commonwealth Fusion Systems, aimed at pushing the boundaries of superconducting magnet technology, which is crucial for the development of fusion energy systems. Fusion energy holds the promise of providing a nearly limitless and clean source of energy. However, to achieve this, we need powerful superconducting magnets that can operate under extreme conditions. These magnets are essential for containing the hot plasma required for nuclear fusion. The Spark Toroidal Field Model Coil Program is part of this global effort to harness fusion energy. This program specifically focuses on developing high-field superconducting magnets using rare earth yttrium barium copper oxide Rebco technology. From June 2019 to July 2021, the MIT Plasma Science and Fusion Center, in collaboration with Commonwealth Fusion Systems, designed, built, and commissioned a test facility at MIT. The facility was designed to evaluate the performance of a 2.9-meter tall, 1.9-meter wide toroidal field model coil TFMC using Rebco superconductors. The core of this facility is a supercritical helium sheet circulation system that provides cooling to the TFMC. The system is capable of delivering up to 600 watts of cooling power at 20 Kelvin and supports a helium flow rate of up to 70 grams per second at an absolute pressure of 20 bars. The cooling requirements for the TFMC are stringent. The magnet is designed to operate at a temperature of 20 K, which is significantly higher than traditional superconducting magnets that typically operate at 4 K. This higher operating temperature is beneficial because it increases the stability of the superconductor and improves the efficiency of the refrigeration system. The cooling system designed for the TFMC uses supercritical helium, a phase of helium that exists above its critical temperature and pressure, allowing it to act as an efficient coolant. The helium is circulated through the system using a cryocooler-based loop, which is a novel approach compared to traditional liquid helium cooling methods. This approach was chosen for its simplicity, cost-effectiveness, and the ability to operate with minimal infrastructure. The heart of the cooling system consists of two cryocirculator modules, each equipped with four Cryomec AL630 single-stage cold heads. These cold heads are responsible for cooling the helium to the required 20K. The helium is then circulated through the TFMC using cryocirculator fans, which are capable of operating at speeds ranging from 15,000 to 60,000 revolutions per minute. Each cryocirculator module is capable of providing approximately 300 W of cooling power, which combined, meets the 600 W cooling requirement of the TFMC. The system's design also allows for flexibility in operation, with the ability to adjust the flow rate and cooling power as needed. The cooling system was subjected to rigorous testing to ensure it met the required performance standards. During these tests, the system demonstrated its ability to cool the TFMC from room temperature to 20K within a few days, with precise control over the temperature and pressure of the helium. The system also successfully managed the heat loads generated by the TFMC during its operation, maintaining the temperature within the desired range. One of the key challenges in the design was ensuring the system could handle the large heat loads during the magnet's operation, particularly during rapid current ramps. The system's performance during these tests was crucial in validating the design and confirming that it could meet the demanding requirements of the SPARC program. In conclusion, the development of the 20K, 600W cryocooler-based supercritical helium circulation system represents a significant advancement in the field of cryogenics and superconducting magnet technology. This system not only meets the stringent requirements of the SPARC toroidal field model coil program but also provides a scalable solution for future high-temperature superconducting magnet applications. Looking forward, this system will play a critical role in the ongoing efforts to develop fusion energy, and its success will undoubtedly contribute to the broader goal of achieving a sustainable and clean energy future. Thank you for watching this deep dive into cryogenic technology. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on cutting-edge research and technology.